2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13, the King James Bible. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. So, this is my last video for a while. I'm going to be taking a pretty long break. For many reasons, I'm going through a lot of changes in my life right now. And I'm just going through a lot right now also. So, I definitely need a break. Uh, there's more than one reason. But I wanted to put this verse up in my last video for a while. Because... If you notice, the way that you're chosen here is it says, Hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through, now here's the mode, through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. You see, you have to understand what salvation is. It's like getting a salvage title car. You get a salvage title car uh, because you're going to fix it up. And that is the process of salvation. I know that a lot of people like to argue, well, you know, justification is a one-time thing and you just believe it and then you go on living your life. Well, it doesn't work like that. That's not what salvation is. And the more you know, the more truth you know, the more you can be sanctified. So really, it's a learning journey. And this is something that I think in the last days, the Bible talks about being uh, not being taught a gospel without uh, sanctification. And... Paul talks about the simplicity that is in Christ. There's a simplicity to it. And, you know, it's very basic what God wants from a saved person. Uh, so, again, this is a telltale sign of the last days is a, a false gospel, a lawless gospel. And that is just not the truth. Uh, so one last thing that I want to add also is that this is the gospel that the devil fears. The gospel that actually changes a person. That has the power of God unto salvation to change a person. Because think about it. When Rome said to the Jews, okay, you can do your Judaism. But what they, they said is, as long as it's under our banner, you see. So, the more that you know and that you're sanctified, the more that you actually pull out of this world's systems. And that's what the devil fears. That's what he does not want. In other words, the devil will say, okay, you believe in Jesus, great. But you're going to operate under our systems. And that's the true gospel that scares the devil. Is when you are being sanctified and you are believing the truth. Therefore you are pulling out of all of this world's systems. And becoming independent from it. That's the gospel that the devil fears. Because he wants you to be a part of. He doesn't care if you say, I believe in Jesus. I believe 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 through 4. Yeah, but what are you doing? It's like that movie. Um, what is that movie called? Where it's about the military. Uh, with private pile. And anyways, it's an old classic. And he says... Your hearts belong to Jesus, but your, excuse my language, ASS belongs to the core. You see, that's what the devil wants. He doesn't care what you believe or 
you know, this or that, because your, pardon my French, ASS belongs to him if you're operating in the world's systems. And that's why 2 Thessalonians 2.13 says that you were chosen to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. How were you chosen? Through faith. By grace through faith. But what is faith? Faith is sanctification. Through faith. Through sanctification. And belief of the truth. You see how they're two separate things? But they're one. But they're separate. Just like the Godhead. There are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Just like believing the truth and sanctification. The more truth that you believe, the more sanctified that you are. Notice it uses the word through sanctification. Just like Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9. Saved by grace through faith. Through sanctification. That, that's what it is. And this is the, the gospel that the devil fears and that he hates. It's the gospel that actually salvages a person. Salvation. The gospel that actually changes you. Because when you really change. Then you pull out of his world system. And that's what he doesn't want. So again this is my last message for a while. Thank you guys. God bless.